Good morning and happy Monday. We've got lots to talk about, so grab your coffee and sit down. We're going to talk for the next four minutes about a very busy and active week that we have ahead. So here's what we got going on right now in our northwestern counties. We've got a line of showers and storms now sub severe, but we could still see some heavier pockets of rain and some gusty winds with this line. So make sure that you are very cautious as you're heading out the door this morning. The rest of the Ozarks things are quiet and that's how they'll stay throughout much of the morning hours. This line that is coming through I think by the time it gets to the I-44 corridor, it's going to really fizzle out. There's not a lot of moisture for it. There's not a whole lot of rain. It can squeeze out by the time it gets to the I-44 corridor. But notice the brighter colors in our northwestern counties. That's where that line is going to really squeeze out some rain. Otherwise, things are pretty dry. Our dew points in the 40s back in Springfield and back through the rest of the eastern Ozarks as well. So by the time this system gets to Springfield, gets to I-44, parts of Lebanon and Rolla, it's, it's not going to be a whole whole lot. It's going to see some sprinkles. You might see some showers, maybe some heavier downpours, but otherwise looking at sub severe this morning. Now let's talk about the rest of the week. We've got a lot going on. So we've got a flash flood watch in effect for counties west and north of I-44 and Springfield. This watch does not include Greene County, but it could be extended through the week. So keep up to date with the weather that's going on. This goes into effect tonight at 1 a.m. and lasts through Thursday morning at 7 a.m. Again, this could get extended time and spatial wise as well. So a couple things you want to remember. You do not want to drive through the flooded roadways. Do not walk, swim or play in those flood waters. Again, we are expecting between one to four, maybe even five or six inches of rain by the end of this week. And we'll get to that in just a few minutes. Right now we're at 57 degrees in Springfield with a south and southeast wind at 17 miles per hour. It's 54 in Branson, 54 in West Plains, 54 up in Rolla and 59 up in Clinton, 65 out in Joplin. We've still got pretty breezy winds out of the south and southeast. We got 10 mile an hour in West Plains and nine in Rolla. We've seen gusts this morning between 30 and 35 miles per hour. We're going to keep that through much of today. By later this afternoon into the evening, those should slowly taper back. We've got a cold front coming through that's bringing that's what's bringing in those showers and storms. Mainly this morning, we could see some showers and storms develop this afternoon. Let's talk about the wind first, and then we'll get to the showers. We'll see these winds die down through the overnight, but no problem by tomorrow. We're going to see those wind gusts pick up again as another line of showers and storms moves through. So let's time all this out for you. Lunchtime by this afternoon could see a couple of sprinkles, mainly north of I-44 again where most of that moisture is. We'll keep, we'll increase the moisture through the day as those winds shift out of the southwest. But otherwise, we're going to stay mostly dry, I think, for much of today. Temperatures will top off in the 70s. Then through the overnight hours when we'll start to see some activities, mainly again north and west of I-44. And then by Tuesday evening through the overnight hours, watch what happens. We've got lines of showers and storms that are going to develop Tuesday night into Wednesday. And here's why the stationary front sitting basically across the Ozarks will stay mostly south of this front, which is where that severe threat will be Tuesday night into Wednesday. And then again, Wednesday into Thursday. We could see between one to four inches of rainfall locally across much of the Ozarks. Could see even more between five and six inches. With tomorrow's threat. We could see golf ball sized hail, damaging wind gusts, and localized flooding is going to be an issue. Over the next seven days, we've got rain showers Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday looks to be the sunniest and driest day. Good news is that we'll stay warm with temperatures in the 70s. Today, rounds of showers, temperatures in the 70s. Overnight tonight, temperatures will drop into the 60s. Showers possible tomorrow. Rounds of showers and storms. Stay weather aware through the day tomorrow and stay weather aware into Wednesday as well as we have more rounds of showers and storms developing.